God bless you, everyone. <clears throat> God bless you. Welcome, welcome, Facebook Live. God bless you, everyone. Come on in. Everybody join me. This, uh, I know it's evening already. Anyway, it's uh, six ten in six ten in the evening now. And good morning, USA. God bless you, everyone, in all in USA, my beloved brethren. And also, good afternoon in Europe and Africa. And it's evening in Asia, my beloved country in the Philippines. <clears throat> Let me share my daily devotional notes all of this evening. But before I share, Um, thank you, Father God, for this evening, for these blessings, Father God, to spread your gospel and kingdom. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God, for strength that you're keeping me. Thank you, Father God, for all such a wonderful blessing that you bless me. Praise you and worship you, glory and honor. Thank you for everything that I have this time, for all sorts of wonderful blessings. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ that this evening I continue my assignment to spread your gospel. I pray that you give me more wisdom, more knowledge, and understanding. That you teach me how to speak the truth and you teach me how to preach the gospel that you give me the Holy Spirit. Father God, I come to you, Father God, right now, that you lift me up, that you bless me this evening. In Jesus' blood, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> I share my message to all of you this uh, evening, daily devotion. Daily devotion, how to please God. This is our name of topic this evening. Good morning, Dada Brad. Brad Mibaret. Good morning, Dada Brad. So this is our topic this uh, evening, how to please God. Amen. I know everyone, they don't want to hear already to, to listen to the words of God. Because even though that, even though that I let them know that I go, uh, I go live, but they know that everybody knows that every day I do live preaching. But I notice some of our uh, friends and beloved brethren, they go away from me because every day I doing live preaching. But I am happy what I am doing because this is my job. God gives me this assignment continue to continue to continue Jesus Christ to follow. So it uh, doesn't matter that if they don't want to hear and listen to the words of God, but our Father in heaven is our number one who was listening to us. So thank you so much, Dada Brad. I really appreciate that you're always here to support. Daily devotion, how to please God. <clears throat> but without, it was saying in the books of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, okay, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For that commit, for that commit to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So what the what 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 
what means in the books of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. So it was saying, if everyone, okay, without without faith, or oh, you don't have faith, amen, it is possible to please, to please God. Amen. If you, if you don't have faith, amen, but for he, for he, for anyone, or for he not, for he that commit, if someone commit God, amen, you must believe that he is, amen, we need to believe that he is our Lord God, the most high, our creator, amen, and that is, and that he is, he is rewarder, amen, if someone, if, if who commit God must believe, okay, must believe that he is, that he is our Lord God, amen, and that he is a rewarder, amen, the warder of them that diligently seek him, amen, okay, daily devotion message, God is, it was saying so you will understand, everyone I know is very stressed for the, uh, for, uh, for their head, if how, if who, okay, so God is a spirit, okay, God is a spirit, amen, and requires that we worship him, amen, require us, okay, Re require us being a child of God or being a believers, okay, that we worship him in spirit, and truth okay so god is a spirit that we need to worship him amen in a spirit and truth john chapter 4 okay i will read the scripture john chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 it was saying but the ha huh, uh, sorry but the hour comet and now is when the true worshiper shall worship okay so when the true worshiper okay shall shall worship the father in in spirit and in truth amen for the father seeketh such to worship him amen so it was saying for the hour comet okay so we need to we need to worship him a true worshiper, okay, a true worshiper, every one of us. Amen? Not only me. Every one of us. It was saying that a true worshiper, amen, we need to worship, worship to our Father in spirit. Amen? We need to worship our Father in heaven in spirit and truth. Amen? <clears throat> For the Father, our Father, seek it, okay, such to worship Him. So our Father, okay, seek it, can see who is a true worshiper to worship Him. Amen? 24. God is a spirit. So, okay, so everyone, everyone here, okay, if you don't understand, Amen. In John chapter 4, verse 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in a spirit and in truth. Amen. So all my beloved brethren, Amen. <clears throat> Our Father God is a spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, who is our creator who created the heaven and earth, is a spirit. Amen. So when we pray, we pray in a spirit. When we worship him, we worship him in a spirit. Amen. Okay, continue. <clears throat> he does not want daily devotion message. He does not want us to have to see him before. Okay. Before we believe that he exists. He want us, he want us to worship him and relate. Relate with him in faith. 
So our father want us to worship him. Amen. And relate him through our faith. Amen. So remember in the books of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 16. It's about saying that if everyone or anyone, if you, okay, if you, if you don't have faith, amen, it is impossible to please God. Amen. So it was saying that he does not want us to have seen him before, okay, we believe that he exists. So our father, he want us, amen, to worship him and relate with him in through our faith, amen, what he said, okay, what he said in the Holy Scripture about himself. All is we ought to need to worship, okay, so the scripture, the scripture telling us that our father, okay, he want us to, okay, he want us to, okay, to worship him, to serve him, amen, and relate with him, amen, three things. Worship him, serve him, and relate. Okay? Relate him. Therefore, <clears throat> faith, okay? Therefore, faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. Amen? Okay? So, it was saying, okay, <clears throat> for, for, for everyone that we are a human, okay, human is... The response of the human, okay, is the spirit to the word of God. Amen. There are three things, okay. There are three things God require in our faith. Okay. There are three things. To acknowledge that he exists. To know that he is a rewarder. And finally, to seek him. Okay, number one. Okay, God bless you, sister Denise uh, Rely, woman of God, warrior. Okay, so there are three things that God require. Okay, require in our faith. Number one, to acknowledge, okay, to acknowledge that he exists. Okay, to acknowledge he exists. Hello, sister uh, Sister Cahan. Good morning, you, uh, USA, Alabama. Okay, I love you, CC. So it was saying, okay, number one, to acknowledge that he exists, okay, to know that he is rewarder, okay. Number two, finally, okay, to seek, to seek him and diligently, okay. So God require us, being his children in this world, amen, that we need to acknowledge him. Amen. We need to acknowledge him that he is our rewarder. Amen. Okay. And finally, to seek him. Amen. We need to seek him first. Amen. That he is diligently. Let us therefore approach. Okay. Let us approach God. Through our faith. Amen. Let's, okay, let's approach our Father from up. Through our faith. Amen. And we continually please Him. Amen. And find rest for our souls. Amen. Amen. You see, it's very powerful if truly we read the scripture or study the Bible. Amen. If we study the Bible, we understood everything. Amen. We need to acknowledge our Father for everything here on earth. Amen. We need to seek Him first. Amen. We always that our faith, okay, always don't give up. 
about your faith. Amen. Because He is our Creator, Rewarder, everything. Amen. So then, <clears throat> without okay, without faith, I mean, without faith for every people, it's very difficult to place God. Amen. It is true. Because did you know why? You are adopting Him. Amen. You don't have faith. You don't believe. But, but just think about that. That God is, that God is our Creator. Amen. So, I don't, I don't believe for everyone that why they don't have faith in God. Amen. I know you have faith in God. But the problem is your mind. You can't separate the world. Amen. You can separate the world. But you know Him. Amen. I know everyone you believing in Him. I know everyone you believing in God. Amen. But the problem is, Amen, you can't separate the world. Amen. So that is why. Because you can't separate the world, that is why you are doubting about your faith. Hello, C.C. Evelyn True. Watching from West Africa. Amen. I believe everyone, all of us here on earth, we know that we having God. Amen. All of us. Amen. Believers or non-believers. I know everyone, you believing in God. Amen. But the problem is, amen, your faith because you can't separate the world that's why your faith you are adopting amen so it time will come that the trials or difficulties come into your life amen now you start adopting god from up amen i know these people Amen. But remember the scripture or the Bible, okay, was saying or telling us people or every people without faith, you cannot please him from up. So what what we gonna do is continually, amen. It was saying continually. Okay, continually, it was saying here, okay, just a minute, continually to please Him through our faith. Amen. So the scripture, okay, remember our Father or our God is the Spirit. So how we can talk to God through Spirit to Spirit. How we worship God through His Spirit, because God is the Spirit. It's not like us. It's not. It's not Sister Evelyn through that she is a woman. She is one time. It's not Sister Denise. It's not. It's not Bradley Barrett. It's not Tidji Chaudhary that we are. We are a human. So it means it. We cannot talk one on one like I am here and you are there are watching me and doing here live preaching. Amen. We can talk here and I can see you. You can see me because I am mankind. I am a human. Amen. But God is the spirit. He is not like us. So then we talk him. We talk to him spirit by spirit. We pray spirit by spirit. We worship Him through spirit. Then how you can feel 
the Holy Spirit of God. You can feel the Holy Spirit of God if you are living spiritually. If you are a born again true believers. Amen. Because if you are not born true again believers, you cannot feel you cannot feel in your whole body his presence. Amen. This is why if we became born again, amen, this body inside us is the spirit of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the spirit. Amen. So this is why we always believe. Continually please him through our faith that he is God. He is creator. He is rewarder. He is everything. He is the most, the most high. Amen. So then our faith continually believing in Him. Amen. So then if anyone, if anyone, how they, they will understand. Because they are not reading the Bible. So then how? They will understand everything. It's all about they want to hear. Belongs to the world. Even the words of God, they don't want to hear and to listen. Amen. But they do know why. I am here even though I am sharing the gospel. Amen. But here in social media and Facebook or whatever it is, if I saw someone sharing the gospel, I love it. I love to hear, to listen the words of God. Amen. Did you know why? More knowledge to learn from every people. If how the way they are living spiritually. If they study the scripture. Did you know I will I will I will share to all of you this? I saw a one post this morning to our beloved sisters in Christ. Because then you know why? Everyone sometimes because they study and they having a lot of degrees. Degrees. So then it's something like comes to the point that they know everything. But if God's calling you, give you, okay? give you assignment through anointed you in holy spirit i'm telling you all i don't care everyone amen the most powerful is he is from up that he is the ones to calling you or to giving you the assignment through the holy spirit miracle big blessings did you know why because his Holy Spirit is the one to always to teach us and to lead us and even though you don't you 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 don't have degree but he is the one from up he is the one from up to teach you how the way you speak to teach people in every nation your mind always your mind is always working amen your heart is always and this this mind amen so anyone if, if, if they will say that I study like this I study like this I have so many degrees okay then you study for how many degrees but if God the most high is the one choosing okay choosing his child to preach his true gospel I'm telling you all the most powerful is the spirit from up who is the ones to lead us. Amen. If you think everyone here, if I preach the gospel or I share the gospel, if you think I am study, I didn't study anything. If I will say, if I will say Bradley Barrett, okay, I will tell him I go live. I never study my scripture. But I know already because I have my faith. Before 
before I go live, I pray first. Number one, I pray I ask the Father only give me more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But it's not like the way that I need to read for hundred times for one week to memorize what shall I'm going to share to all of you here. It's not like that. I am here. If I will say I go live, three minutes, I am here. Because I have my faith in God. He is the one working. He is the one to teach me. His Holy Spirit. He is the one to lead me. So it's not for everyone. If you discuss, you having so many degrees, you study, but before everyone here, I'm encounter for so many pastors in all over the world. Before they preach, I'm encounter for this pastor. He is a veteran pastor, retired. Sharing with me, he was saying, before he preached the gospel inside the church, he need to read his message. He need to read his scripts, his scripture first, and then to start preaching. And he got nervous. But if you are true believers, if you are a true worshiper, amen. If you are a warrior, a child of God, and you believe that he is he is the one working no need no need to study everything ask from up through his holy spirit you can feel in your ear in your brain in your whole body in your whole heart if how the father god responds amen so if i say i go live I go live. Whole day I am busy working. But even though I am working, I will say, Father, I want to go live. I open my, G my King James Bible version. I see it. I never read it. Only I am ready. I am ready to share. Amen. So everyone, it's not even though you study. Amen. It's not the main you study, but number one, the Holy Spirit of God teach you and leads you. Amen. Because so many people, they study, even though they having degrees, but they are not using their degrees how to spread or to preach or to teach or to share the words of God properly. Amen. Nobody can say no. Did you know why? I am not a veteran. I never study about this preaching. I am not I'm not studied to being a preacher. I'm not studied to being a pastor. I don't have name. Even the Bible. But because of God, He gave me this assignment. He is the one to give me this assignment. So even though I always believe my faith, I never thought. Even if it takes a long time, I never thought my faith. Because this is why the scripture is saying, telling us, without faith, it's very hard to please Him. Amen. Then, if everyone who commit, okay, who commit God, you need to believe that He is, of course. Amen. We need to. He is God. Amen. He is reward. There is everything. Amen. So remember, God is a spirit. He is, he is not like us. Amen. I will say, Lucifer is who? He is fooling angels. 
Satan and Lucifer, Lucifer is a fallen angel. Lucifer is the god of this world. Why, Bila, you are, why you are telling like this? Because he is in this world. You can see everywhere. Anyone, all of you, you can see how demons, amen, I can see. Still have the long horn, still have the tail, still have the one from here. I have my friends of mine living in USA. I am here in the Middle East. I know everyone's all of you don't believe it, but I know here, I know you are listening right now, my friend, Jack Bitch. He was living in USA. I am here in the Middle East. I know that last year before, he always attacking of demons, our enemies. I told him, I spoke to him, the way you talk, you are not belong in your body. A window conversation in the messenger. Amen. So then I will I will share to all of you. Amen. And he answered me, How did you know? Because I saw behind you, Amen, is enemies. And then he answered me, You are right. How could I see? I am here. He was in USA. Amen. But the way he talked, I know him. Amen. Did you did you know what means is this? This is the powerful spiritual gift. Even though how thousand miles away from you. Amen. If you having a strong spiritual gap blessings from up, you can see, you can feel. Did you know my beloved brethren? Jake, he took a photo. When he took a photo with his mobile, I saw who is behind him. Satan. You can see this. I know Jake. You're listening this message this time. If I post in your ministry, the Bruce, the Bruce and Sisters Ministry Group, you can watch this video. Jake Bates, I know you are listening this time. Amen. He always attacking of these enemies. But shall what we gonna do? We always stay stand strong to our faith. That no one, no one, even to our enemies, come closer to us. We need to always stand to the ground. Amen. That we believe. Amen. We believe that Jesus is our personal Savior. Amen. No one can defeat us. And encounter so many, many trials. Even though my family, the enemies using to attack me. But I never give up my faith because every life of every people, amen, no one can help us but God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, only Jesus can defeat the enemies because the God of this world, only his power is in this world to destroy the world to kill people and destroy people but remember Jesus is the name of all above name amen always believe amen so don't discuss for a very difficult message to share in every nation always encourage people always inspire people always people that never give up their faith 
Amen. Because the whole world, we are all human. Amen. We are all human. Only can help us. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So remember, we pray through spirit of our Father. Because God is the spirit. Amen. We worship him through his spirit. We talk to him through his spirit. Spirit by spirit. Amen. So remember, in, this is the world. It, all of us, okay? All of us unite. Unity for this whole world. Amen. Because the Father, the Father is watching the whole world. Remember, the Father God watching the whole world. If who is true believers and worshiper. Amen. Then if every one of us, he know, he know who pray without ceasing and faith without doubting. He know if who is belongs to him. Amen. So when we pray, we need to feel his Holy Spirit. Amen. We need to feel his Holy Spirit. And when we feel His Holy Spirit, you can feel in your whole mind, heart, body, spirit, and soul. It's very warm and connected like electricity. Still have electricity inside you. Amen. Because you can feel His presence. Amen. It's not only you are praying. How many times you repeated and repeated? When you pray from here, from your heart, from the bottom of your heart. Amen. So remember, without faith, okay, it's difficult to please God. Okay, so even though, even though you believe in God, I know everyone's all over you believing in God. Amen. You know we have in God. But the problem is, amen, if there's something happened into your life, you start doubting. Amen. It's almost happened because of these trials. Amen. So if there's trials coming, and then you start doubting. But remember, without faith, okay without faith okay it is impossible to please him so always here okay never doubt about your faith amen so this is my message to share to all of you this evening daily devotion king james bible version how to please god Amen. So without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. So all my beloved brothers in Christ, amen, every one of us, don't ever, ever give up. Stay strong. Stay focused. Amen. We believe He is. He is from us. Our Father in heaven. Amen. Did you know if everyone truly, they always saying, they know we have in God, but the problem of these people, amen. I couldn't understand these people that instead continue about their faith to believing in God. Amen. Believe that our land, God will help this land. Amen. But people, amen, instead of believing in God, I don't know, I don't know how to explain people in this world. But my answer is because of our enemies. Amen. Because he is in this world. He is here. 
He is the one to control the world. He is the one to, to make like people scramble. Because he is in this world. As much as he wants to, he wants to gather, okay, all people, amen. He, as much as he wants to tempt it, so that people go with him on hill, amen, he will destroy. Okay, he will destroy you as much as he can do. He won't stop. So then, if you are weak, amen, especially living spiritually, your loss, your loss here on earth, and number one, you lost your soul. You go with him in the lake of fire. That's the problem we need to understand. Amen. So sometimes, even a hard times, amen, a hard times, a trials, what kind of troubles, what kind of this difficulties coming, amen, coming to our life. No one can help us. He is from up. Amen. Remember our enemies will give you something temporary is not lifetime not like jesus jesus give us eternal life to live forever but our enemies in this world he will give you temporarily in amen and then after that you face you going to struggle after and then amen you are here with him in the lake of fire amen so everything here on earth amen did you know i don't have time i don't have times belongs to the world my job daily working my job amen and also here in the ministry amen and also only in my channel my daily job working here after i finish checking the ministry my channel my family only this only this my time no one else i don't have time if what belongs to the world number one amen number one after I finish my job, I give time to pray and talk to him from up. Did you know even though I am working, I'm telling you, even though I'm cleaning the bathroom, but my mind is always I'm talking spirit. Father, thank you so much for everything. You know, can see me what I am doing, that even though I'm tired, I'm struggling for my work, but I'm still happy. My mind is always talking from up. Even I'm mopping the floor. Even I'm cooking. But my mind always talks from up. I always talk from up. Father, thank you so much for treating me. This is why. Amen. I always, I'm not depend myself. I always depend from up. That he is the one to handle everything. Because I have faith from up. I'm believing from up. Everything. He is the one to handle everything. I never give up. Amen. The most important always, we having faith that he is God. Amen. I love you all here. Thank you, Sissy Evelyn. God bless you. Thank you, Sissy. Hope you are okay. And uh, your family, your children, grandchildren. Thank you so much, Sister Evelyn, through watching from uh, West Africa. Thank you so much, Sister uh, Evelyn. God bless you. Really appreciate this uh, after uh, evening already. And also, uh, Bradley Barrett. 
thank you so much for uh, this man, my fiance, very supportive, spiritually, everything. Every time we talk, we always talk about the scripture. We always share about the Bible. This is the one I love this man because how the way we always doing Bible study. Amen. I, re I love to always to listen to hear the words of God. This is we need all the time. Did you know why? To keep us more stronger. We learn a lot of a lot of everything on earth. We learn a lot of knowledge. Amen. We encounter so much people or different people around the world. I really I love you all guys. My beloved Britain. Because even though before in my old accounts, amen, because of these people that we call it jealousy, amen. Did you know now I'm like, uh, I am very, um, I'm very uh, like a uh, confused or something like I am wondering. I am wondering because did you know why there's a lot of ministry and a lot of people are sharing my videos. So instead my views is going up, it was like it's going down. It's not like before in my old account, amen. But I am still okay. I am still smiling because I'm not. I'm not counted people. If who wants to listen about the words of God, but the most important is my job. I'm doing my job, and He knows from up that I'm serving Him. So even though that nobody will watch me or nobody support me, He is a big God from up. I'm still happy. Amen. So I'm so thankful for everyone here. USA, Europe, and Asia, and Africa. To all my beloved brethren around the world, I always appreciate all of you. Really, you inspire me. Amen. Did you know if everyone watching me, I'm really happy and inspired. Did you know why? He is the one is happy from up. Because God, being a children of God, amen, if what God has given us, if we share his gospel, amen, and we speak the truth, the Father God is happy. Did you know why even he is the spirit? If what we are doing, we are doing good and we, we speak the truth, even you close your eyes, Amen. Even you close your eyes, you can see him. He is smiling. Amen. Because I always put in my heart, love. Love people, love God. So if we love people, we having the love of God. Amen. Even though God is the spirit, we can see him. He is happy and smiling us. Amen. To believe. If you think that how you can see God, because He is the Spirit. Amen. You need to do is doing good to others. Show your love in your heart. Amen. And pray. Pray to Him, Father God. I want to feel your Holy Spirit in me. I want to feel your presence. And then let feel the presence of God. And when you feel the presence of God, amen, just meditate your mind. You can see God, even though He is the Spirit. Amen. He is happy. So everyone, so all of you, if you don't understand how you can see God, then ask yourself how I can see God. Amen. You can see God upon your works. Amen. Doing good to others. Always doing good in your life. And be real in reality. Amen. And love people. Even though that they hate you, turn back to them. I love you. Amen. Because we are a true believers of Christ Jesus. Amen.
So even someone they don't like us, still turn back to them, all doing goods. Amen. So that you can see him. Amen. I love you, everyone here. God bless you. God's blessings upon us. Amen. And always remember, God still in control of this world, even to how powerful man on earth. But remember, if you commit God, you believe He is God. Amen. Everything in life is nothing heavy in the name of Jesus Christ. We are all facing trials and difficulties. But remember, without God in your life, no one can help you but all but God. Amen. Having a good fight. If you will think that I am hungry, how could I eat? I don't have a job. I don't have money. Talk from up. Show, Father God, show me the way how I can survive. If what is inside your heart, try to talk to Him, even though He is the Spirit. Amen. He is the one to help us. Believe. Bella Ostaga, God bless you everyone here. Thank you so much. C.A. Narish, God bless you everyone here. Always believe, never give up your faith. No one can help us in this world but God. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these enemies was defeated. Remember, the God of this world, okay, Satan and Lucifer, remember only they are a falling angels but the name of jesus above all the name amen they are not going to win because jesus is god the only one begotten sons of the father from us. amen bella osaga from bella's ministry warrior of christ united for christ the power of God's ministry and the power of God church. This is my ministry here in social media and Facebook. Amen. And also I have my Instagram. Everyone, to all of you. If someone who asking prayers, I'm always here to pray for you. Okay. I always here if you need prayers. Amen. So everything here is God's blessings upon us and the power of God church is the power of God church is my real church in Manila, Philippines. Everyone, so all of you, my beloved brethren, let us all together pray for the whole world that our Father has mercy on us and heal the lands of the world. I love you. You inspire me. And really, uh, I am happy what I am doing. Amen. Good evening, everyone, and God bless you all.